Okay, now we can start <clears throat> resizing and moving our objects to create a composition. And so let's take a look at our objects. Uh, by turning on the eyeball, there's our sphere, there's our cylinder, and there's our cone. And if I turn them all on, so what I want to do is resize these, position them, decide what I want in the foreground and background. So let's start with the cone. Uh, it's too large, so if I do select the cone group and do a command T, the bounding box comes up. And if I grab a corner uh, bounding box, I can scale it down or scale it up. Now, I'm going to be honest with you about one thing that's kind of mystifying me. Before I updated photo Photoshop recently, I could grab a side bounding box, and this would like make the object narrower. For some reason it's not doing that. I can't find it in preferences. I'll, maybe I'll figure it out. So if you want to like, say I wanted to make this cone more narrow, the bounding box is visible. I would have to go to Edit, Transform, Distort. And I have to be careful that I don't uh, mess up my cone, but like just go straight across just pull it straight across so I can make it, you know, a shape that I want. So that looks pretty good. Relative to the size of the canvas, I think that that might work. Okay, so let's um, click on the cylinder. Same thing. I'll make sure the cylinder group is enabled. Command T, and I can um, resize this and what I want to do is have like a nice thin <clears throat> cylinder that goes above this so I'm gonna to have to go again in the olden days I could just go like this and it would do what I wanted to do but I gotta with the bounding box visible edit transform distort and I'm just gonna pull it straight up and being careful that I don't screw this up. <clears throat> this isn't position. <clears throat> excuse me, it's not positioned where I want it yet, but it'll get there. Um, let me, now I can hold down the shift key and select cylinder and cone. Use the move tool, which is this crossbar, or hit the letter V on the keyboard and I can move these guys in unison. And I gotta put the, uh, I gotta work on the sphere, so I'm gonna select the sphere. Command T. In this case, I want the sphere sphere like, so it's going to. I can just use the um, Command T transform tool and it's gonna work fine. So, what I'm thinking is okay, that looks really stupid, right? It doesn't. This composition makes absolutely no sense. So, over here in the. Uh, Layers palette, what if I click, hold, and drag sphere and put it above the cylinder? That, that's looking a little bit more cool, all right? And with the sphere still selected, move tool selected, I can move this around. And, okay, this still is not where I want it. Um, the other thing is when I look at this, the See the shading on the sphere and the cone? That's pretty compatible. That's pretty pretty close to what I want. I gotta darken the cylinder eventually. So what I'm gonna do is end this video here and I'm gonna come up with a uh, composition that I like and because I don't it'll just be really boring for you watching me move stuff around. So uh, let's end here. I'll come back and I'll show you the composition I come up with.